Brothers and sisters, Jesus did not die, rise again, go back to heaven, send the Holy Ghost so we could all get in a political group, a conservative political group, and try to get the right man in office. Brother, God's always been in charge of whoever gets in office. You might not like it, but God does not ask you what you like. This thing's not going to get any better. There isn't going to be a revival of morality in this country. The Bible I believe and preach out of says, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. No, it's rotting and you can't undo the rot. So why would I waste my moments, my precious God-given life, trying to get some worldling into some ungodly position so he can try to make some decisions to change the course of this country. I won't do it. I'm higher than that. I'm better than that. And so are all of you. Beware of the leaven of the Herodians. I want nothing to do with it. My job is to preach. I am a watchman on the wall. I am a shepherd. And I am a vicious sheepdog. That's why I'm preaching the way I'm preaching. This may be offensive to some of you who want to fly the flag and cry and want to go to all kinds of conventions about our ancestry and our national pride. I have no national pride. All of my glory goes to Jesus. I don't know how long ago it was I preached this, but here we go again. I am not proud to be an American. I am thankful to be one. You have no right to be proud of anything, but you are called on to be thankful for all things. I'm thankful I was born here. I'm thankful for what I've enjoyed in this country. But this is not my home. My citizenship is in heaven from which we look for the Lord Jesus Christ who's going to change these vile bodies that they may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. You hear me preaching, Ron? This is not my home. i got a little more time left. And as long as I'm here, I'm going to do exactly what I'm doing right now. I'll not get caught up with movements. I'll not get caught up with popular attractions. There is nothing more important than preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay. Let me finish on this one. I'm not going to put it up, up with it in here either. You're kind of bossy, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I've been here long enough to be bossy. <laughs> so things are beginning to, you know, amp up a little bit. Just hear me very carefully. And hear my compassion. Do not come on this property promoting a politician. If they come into this church, I will not recognize them. They didn't die for my sins. But pastor, aren't you supposed to honor, honor, honor? Yeah, I, I'm going to honor Christ. Do not wear political paraphernalia into this building. They've already been instructed in the foyer, lobby, entrance, whatever you call it. If some comes in with any political attire, they must change it or go home. Because I will not allow leaven to come into this building. I ain't putting up with it. I'm too old. I'm too tired. And actually, I'm too stubborn and even a little mean <laughs> to kind of put up with you and what you think. What are your politics, pastor? Are you kidding me? Politics? I got one thing on my mind. When the trumpet sounds, I want out of here. Don't you ever forget, the leaven of Herod has done some very devious things in years gone by. 
it was the leaven of Herod that caused the crusaders to march through foreign lands and massacre people who did not readily stand up and say, I believe in Jesus Christ. They killed them. Even if some of them were Muslims, Jesus said, that ain't the way this kingdom operates. Put your sword up, Peter. If you draw the sword, you'll die by the sword. He said, you are people of peace. When they slap you on one cheek, turn the other cheek. It is not your job to put people in office. I am God. I am sovereign. I rule the affairs of men. I put them in and I take them out. And that's not your business. Your business is to love the place where you live enough to pray for it. Hey, if you're an American citizen, pray for the country. Pay your taxes. How about that? If you love it, pay your taxes. Be the best citizen you can possibly be. But always remember that this citizenship is secondary. Where you're going, there is no politics. Where you're going, there's only one leader. Where you're going, hallelujah, there'll be no votes. Hallelujah. There'll be no constitution. There'll be no bill of rights. You'll be in the presence of the creator of the whole universe, and he'll be king of kings and lord of lords. Give him praise.